and half hour uh, thing. Then uh, as far as for the full semester because already given uh, taking for the four credit courses having for the 40 hours then again it is a minimum 12 weeks because already uh, discussed 12 to 15 weeks uh, that is for the duration of the course uh, then probably can have a three to four hours of a lecture per week this is uh, again we need to be uh, develop the MOOC courses if you are developing for the full semester as a four credit courses then again they given for the mandate some of the two quizzes and then again having for the, some kind of practical exams or whatever the thing then again they given for this all again uh, we need to be follow what is there in the NPTEL course modality that need to be followed under the thing then again some of the credit one credit equivalent that is for the certificate courses is there that can be developed that is for the four to five weeks then also given for the in a week uh, what is the hours of lecture that is there in the thing so these are all again uh, all the courses again uh, they have given for the engineering as well as for the science, uh, the basic sciences humanities as well as for the management these are all the thing already we are aware uh, taking for the entire country we have national uh, nine national coordinator each coordinator will be taking for the uh, approvaling the whichever the proposal we are submitting to the ministry probably each course coordinator national coordinator will be approve the courses then again they will be monitoring for the entire course uh, available in the in the learners or whatever the thing. These are the some of the modalities were there. Then uh, taking, these are all the some uh, journey of as well as for the Swayam is concerned to start it for the creating learning plan, online courses discover. This is again uh, most applicable for the student point of view. Understanding for the as well as uh, taking starting from the as in create a learn, uh, learning plan, then again online course discovery, application process, program planning, various other content probably it is uh, more uh, relevant to the as a student point of view. I will move to the next, I will share for the next uh, slide. Okay. Okay, so here uh, we need to uh, discuss some of the annual refresher program in teaching that is for the RPIT courses, then also some of the initiatives as well as for the NMITC, NMICT, uh, then also taking the enrollment exam is some of the content already. It is not visible. It is not visible? Uh, now it is moving, sir. Ah, it is PDF only, ma'am. I am not uh, shared PPT. I have uh, shared PPT. Uh, some of the content already discussed, uh, objectives, implementation as well as for the regulation because in the nut sale, because already we are aware uh, as an objective of the same courses given anyone, anywhere, anytime, then also given for the equity and access to quality education that is there in the, in the already in the Swayam platform in the Swayam website also. Then come to the implementation uh, because this was uh, launched in the year of uh, 2017, then uh, continuously they are writing for the every year there is in two cycles they are raising the subject. Then also uh, entire country nine national coordinator coordinating for the approving the courses. Then also course available mod, uh, available for the learners. So then also certification that all the thing will coordinating for the nine national coordinator for the entire country. Then already we have the regulations because already made the regulation for the guidelines for quality maintenance in the course. The quality credit transfer framework through Swayam under the UGC. Then also same guidelines already uh, they are implemented in the UGC also. Uh, that is for the 2017, then also 2022, March 2021 also there is a new guidelines. Under the new guidelines, they will give up to 40 percent of the credit can be earned in a student uh, that can be incorporated in the mark sheet. Uh, that is also one of the criteria is there in the thing. Then these are all the, some of the already uh, some updates as well as for the how many universities are involved or other kind of thing. The most important uh, component as well as for the as soon as uh, taking for the UGC MOOC courses, then again we need to understand information about all PG non-technical courses because uh, as soon as uh, the course is made available in the, in the Swayam platform, they will give the list of subject available in the e-cycle. Based on the thing that will be given for the entire country, probably I think entire country we have 600 plus uh, university Swayam coordinator, probably Swayam coordinator as well as the concerned vice chancellor, they will access for the whichever the courses made available in the e-cycle. The same thing need to be circulated for the concerned department as well as for the concerned colleges for the creating awareness for the enrollment of the courses. Then again interface of the MOOC courses see again uh, as a teacher developing the MOOC courses then again we need to be separate uh, website that is there in the uh, we call it as an expression of interest or you can call it as a proposal. 
we need to be prepare the proposal that everything that need to be uploaded in the online probably overall course coordinator they create their own login and user id based on the login and user id they need to be update uh, upload the proposals uh, based on the proposal they will have some kind of interface meeting that they will call for the shortlisting the probably they check with the whether particular uh, title of the subject or uh, title of the course you have proposed based on the thing whether it's not it's available in the earlier uh, cycle or not if not they probably they can give the approval based on the thing there is in uh, guidelines also available probably whenever you free probably can go to ugc mooks uh, website probably you can lot of guidelines is there lot of ppts is there probably you can read the guidelines uh, then again for people as per as well how to develop the ma massive open online courses then also regulations then also credit transfer then also how to create the content creation so many other component were there then also subsequently our university of mysore we have uh, conducted for the series of workshops probably so many workshops you are exclusively for some workshop exclusive for the teachers uh, for creating awareness for the swayam courses then also how to develop the mooc courses and other kind of thing then also series of workshop and then conferences we organize only for the exclusive for the student taking into consider for the e cycle i am audible सीरीज ऑफ वर्कशॉप एंड कॉन्फ्रेंस बेस्ड ऑन द थिंग वी क्रिएट अवेरनेस फॉर द स्टूडेंट हाउ टू हेंडल ऑल द कोर्सेस then also we have full plates uh, university of mysore we have established full plates so i am digital learning monitoring cell based on the thing e cycle we will be circulating for the, all the courses then also creating awareness and whatever the thing then also we will taking for the help to uh, the faculty member for some uh, faculty for comfort or for developing for the mooc courses we will help you for taking it concerns how to prepare the proposal then whatever the other component based on the thing then again login features there is in dashboard uh, as a coordinator properly uh, upload your uh, profile you will need to create your own email to log in then upload your profile to the portal so now is it going to i think somebody has to i think your host uh, hrdc vani uh, shree madam has to mute the okay then taking for the uh, registration of details learners this are the some of the component uh, communication between the university soil coordinator as well as for the this are the some of the things for there then uh, as far as an understanding uh, any faculty interested for developing the mooc course this is the website uh, go to the soil uh, that is for the expression of interest under the thing they will given for the as a proposal so here in the proposal we need to be proposals then again we need to be they are given for the all the details what is the introduction what is the scope of work then overall eligibility overall eligible for the developing the mooc courses then again there is a guidelines what are the guidelines how to create the content how to prepare the proposal all the guidelines for there then again they will allowing for the submit the proposal this is in the under the submit the proposal. this is uh, probably just you can type type it in the google swayam eoi expression of interest probably then take you to the website there probably you can have in uh, Uh, the, all the details are made available scope of work then guidelines whether kind of thing probably you can make use whenever you free then after developing the mooc courses then again you should have in uh, life cycle of the mooc courses uh, one is we need to be understand course proposal and approval uh, as soon as you are submitting the proposal through online because there is in uh, committee in the ministry of education as well as for the concerned with all the na nine national coordinator they will scrutinize your scrutiny your proposals based on the scrutinizing the proposal then they will give the approval probably you are in principle based on the interaction probably they sell in the last cycle also they called for the interface meeting with the overall uh, faculty submitting the proposal through online based on the interface meeting then they will decide for the uh, the project uh, proposal is approved because already in the earlier uh, session i have discussed they will given for 13 and half lakh the 10 the 10 percent of the 13 and half lakh the director release as soon as your project is approved the proposal is approved that is for the course proposal and uh, approval then after that they are given for the content development and the repurpose repurpose is only for uh, i think is, uh, some of the faculty already are familiar there is a separate uh, uh, digital repository called as epg padasha uh, this is uh, very interesting under the nmict initiative in the earlier they started for the only developing for the digital uh, Uh, repository that is for the e content that is available based on the thing that script are available the script can be download you can make use for the that script for the various purposes 
not only for the faculty member, the student can download under the PG Partisha. Probably they later will discuss under the NMACT initiative. So as far as that is uh, some of the courses available under the EPG Partisha, the same courses they made for the repurpose that can be converted in the MOOC. These are some of the attempts also made in the earlier. So that's why they given for the content development and also as given for the repurpose if required. Then again, consent uh, from university, uh, that is very important, whether you are there in the college or whether they are in the, in the department, whether they are in the, in the university, then you should have a consent letter from the consent uh, register, that is mandate. Then again, a course announcement and content uploading, as soon as your proposal is approved, then again you should have a course announcement, it will be there in the thing, it is available in the, made available in the uh, indigenous built soil platform. Then also taking for the content uploading, so they will give the either content uploaded by the course coordinator or maybe some kind of uh, given uh, the agency or maybe concerned uh, multimedia center. Probably in our cases, University of Mysore, whichever the courses developed by the Mysore University of Mysore, the content is uploaded by the EMRC, that is for the Education Multimedia Resource Center. They will give on the right, they will upload the content based on the concerned with the course coordinator, based on the week by the uploading the content, that is there in the thing. Then again, uh, student enrollment and uh, course delivery, this is uh, again we need to be uh, followed for each courses uh, they will given for the how many students are enrolled uh, then uh, that is there in the thing then again student activity then also interact with the student through uh, discussion forum and chat this is again in uh, in uh, entire uh, that whatever the unit you have devised uh, as well as for the developing designing the MOOC courses there itself we give an option for the thing which content you want to go for the as a uh, taking into consider for the, in the discussion forum or which content you want to make it as in the online page or something like that. So based on the thing that can be the student activity that is interaction will be there in the that need to be there. Then uh, uh, finally I have given already that is our proctored exam or you can go for the online exam because uh, in the first cycle 2017 or 2018 when the first cycle they introduced at the time the NTA was not there. So at the time they given for the each university need to conduct the uh, Soyam courses in our university also once, once I first cycle we conducted the Soyam courses in our university itself. So based on the thing we got in a certificate of excellence uh, center certificate also. So this is later uh, they created for the national testing agency. Now the national testing agency for the conducting the exam for the entire country in the uh, two time. One is uh, taking into concern for the cycle one or in a year there is a two cycles. E cycle they will conduct the national testing agency for the uh, whatever the stipulated uh, uh, scheduled time for the entire country that is there in the thing. Then again that is uh, either maybe online exam or maybe proctored exam that is already there in the that has to be decided by the course coordinator. Then again credit transfer from the host institution this is very important as soon as any student getting the certification probably whatever based on the certification whatever the credit hard. Then again through the, because in our university we have so, so digital learning monitoring cell, each cycle minimum 100 to 120 students will get the credit transfer. So uh, they will submit the certificate, based on the certificate then probably we will consolidate all the certificate then we can uh, send a letter to the our uh, uh, register evaluation in the examination branch. They will add it for the, in the credit transfer that is included in the ESA her mark sheet in the uh, ESA semester. That is also one of the thing. The credits transfer from the OSU that is also mandated. These are all the, some of the life cycle of the MOOC courses. Then taking, uh, these are all the some of the content already we are aware, uh, identifying the course coordinator, then also taking for the content writers, reviewers, language editor, video presenter. These are all the some of the content because already in the proposal they given for the break of cost based on the thing out of 39 dollar of lakh then given for the how much money need to be given for the content writer, how much uh, money need to be given for the costing for the reviewers. They know how much content, uh, how much money given for the video presenter. These are all the some of the things already detailing were there. Whenever you free, probably just you can uh, go to that UGC MOOCs website. In the guidelines is there, probably you can read it uh, whenever you, if you are interested in developing the MOOC courses. Then also multimedia team for video recording, uh, slides, animation. These are all the things is managed by the, probably you can associate with any multimedia center in your university or maybe in your uh, uh, state or maybe you can, uh, there is an already available in the Minister of Education in the uh, list of panel uh, approved by the, that is for the agencies approved by the developing the MOOC courses. Probably in, in the directly you can contact those people who will come and uh, recording your video and editing animation that all the process will be done. So these are all the some of the component were there. Then taking the developing the MOOC courses because uh, very important, the one course we call it as an one paper content to be spread over 15 weeks because already given. Uh, minimum 12, maximum 15 weeks, the content need to be uh, there in the thing. 
then other uh, interesting uh, as well as for the comprising for the entire four credit courses you should have in 40 hours because as a 40 hours out of 40 hours uh, they'll given for the as well as for the audio video that is for the audio video deliverables that has to be there in the 20 hours because already given 50% weightage is given for the quadrant 1 that is called the audio video delivery the rest uh, 50% is given for the various other component assignment self assessment questions discussion forum quizzes activities references so many thing so this is all the some of the thing probably one of the interesting thing is uh, even i also completed for the two three swayam courses for the certification or maybe uh, fdp program based on the thing some of the uh, uh, courses they are given for the video content they will share the video content based on the video content the 30 minute video content is there based on the video content there is a set of questions were there based on the viewing the video probably we need to be uh, uh, that answer all the questions that need to be uploaded in the uh, whatever the link they given so based on the thing they will make the assessment something like that this are the some of the modality were there in the under the online uh, courses as well as for the mooc is concerned that need to be decided by the course coordinator what kind of thing then uh, taking for the structure of mooc courses because already are aware uh, whenever you taking for the entire in the overall proposal you should have a course introductory video this is for the 5 minutes duration because in this uh, introductory video uh, covering for uh, almost course objectives then also description of the course structures then brief about the course content which are all the content were there then again how this content in the curriculum curriculum then again prerequisite for learning outcomes of the course these are all the some of the, the component we need to be uh, covered under the course introductory video that has to be there within 5 minute 5 minute video then again every week there is a week introductory video that is there in the thing that need to be uh, uh, developed as well as for the thing 1 to 2 minutes video covers the week wise description then brief content then also given for the activities to be undertaken in the week so this are the some of the thing that as well as for the introductory videos then also taking for the week content each week uh, 15 weeks there is also what are the content were there in the 15 week then also there is an uh, 1 to 2 minutes video that is for the week uh, sum of videos probably end of the week we need to be submit of what are the content you are going to be uh, what are the content you all learn what are the going to be learn in the next upcoming uh, week or something like that then again there is an uh, quizzes and assignment 2 3 uh, in a course that is a mandate uh, probably we either you can go for the two quizzes or maybe three that is uh, depend on the course coordinator then also we need to be given for the assessment plan that is for the grading sim allocation of marks because already given so entire country as far as for the nine national coordinator they uh, made the common modality based on the modality they will given for the 70 uh, marks is for the external examination 30 marks for the internal assessment the 70 marks directly conducted by the national testing agency for all nine national co- coordinator for the entire country then rest 30 marks that has to be rest with the concerned course coordinator they will decide uh, based on the rest of uh, three quadrants so these are all the some of the thing need to be okay. then again uh, expectation from the new course coordinator uh, then again prepare one week course content then consisting these are all the thing already you are aware of it then again uh, uh, that is for the because as soon as you are 13 and off like they, uh, your proposal is approved director will release for the 10% of the total cost that is that will be released for the very concerned uh, Uh, universities or maybe concerned uh, department or maybe institutions then again uh, you need to be every year that is there in the cycle they decided based on the thing they can uh, d- develop the mooc courses then this are the some of the guidelines because already were aware as far as uh, understanding for the annual repressor program in teaching uh, courses that is called as an arpit courses this arpit courses is available only for in the year of 2019 2018 and 19 there is almost uh, 72 courses probably i think uh, just i can uh, for in your curiosity just i'll share that uh, which are all the courses made available in the earlier cycle okay this for uh, this is the uh, as per as sir you can visible yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. so this is uh, one of the proposal is prepared uh, techniques in the microbiology this is for the four credit course this is for the as a template of the proposal this template is available in the word format in the whatever the website i have given for the expression of interest for the swayam courses and in that website there is a uh, word format template is there within that te- you download the template just you can fill the template 
what is the course name that is for that uh, this is the uh, proposal already submitted then also go to the funding that is for the techniques in the microbiology that is there in the thing course then also given for the medium of instruction given in english then given for the category uh, funded university this, that comes under the 12b of ugc then also d1 for the what is the nature of course because already uh, we started in the earlier session either hardcore softcore we have the open elective as far as university is concerned we are not touched for hardcore and softcore any student earn the credit through the swayam that need to be incorporated in the option of the open elective so this is again given for the in the elective open elective option is given then again types of course given for the credit not for the certification then again course credit for then again course duration given for the 15 weeks entire course they designed for the 15 weeks so based on the thing they worked out for the what is the course outline then also discuss for the detail uh, what are the course uh, curriculum then also what are the prerequisite what are the overall student can be joined for the particular courses they'll given for the bsc degree in the science like botany zoology whatever that is so that need to be the course coordinator when they preparing the proposal then they'll de decide who are all the audience whether your course is uh, can be admitted by the undergraduate student or maybe post graduate student or only exclusively for the basic sciences or maybe humanities or maybe management the test be decided by the course coordinator then also you need to be right for the learning outcome then again we need to be upload your introductory video 5 minutes introductory video about the course so this is uh, again uh, that need to be created uh, while submitting the proposal you need to be create the youtube link that youtube link need to be uh, uh, submitted in the proposal that is for the introductory video then this is uh, earlier it was their assignment 40 60 and other thing now the entire country they made it for the common for 70 70 to 30 now this is earlier proposal we submitted then based on the thing they'll given for the entire model they'll given for the each model they'll given for the who is the content writer who is the video presenter who is the content reviewer who is the technical reviewer so these are all the four column will be there based on the thing they will suppose if the particular person is the is the subject matter experts he will taking for the what is the video presenting so how many session he is going to be engaging for the video presenter how many model then also given for the who is going to be reviewing the content whatever the content you have in the video content you have prepared somebody has to review the subject matter expert then again uh, the technical review technical review means uh, who is editing the particular whatever the video you have delivered then also they are using for the various multimedia tools and technique either maybe animation or maybe uh, including for the various thing that need to be technical review he will uh, review the whole video content then they again you need to be so, so these are all the some of the examples as a proposal for the thing and the model each model they'll given for the, the deliverables so this is entire four credit courses so he has developed almost uh, 32 uh, as well as for the 32 model so that taken into consider on the 32 model they are given for the thing then again course schedule also given in uh, almost 15 weeks each weeks what are the content so probably taking for the first week they will give for the video text discussion form then second week they are taking for the video discussion form and live chat then again something like that so based on the thing what are the content were there in the thing uh, that all the details model to be covered in the first week second week all the details need to be prepared in the proposal because these are all the format is available only need to be fill the format based on uh, whatever the content is there because here is given pen and paper that is for the proctored exam then again this are all the some of the uh, thing uh, as well as for the thing this is entire uh, taking for the uh, it comprising almost uh, four to five pages uh, four to five six pages there in the thing based on the thing you need to be prepare the proposal the same proposal need to be uploaded in the online because already given uh, in the website expression of interest then again you as a course coordinator you should have a new user id and login need to be created based on the thing in the subsequently you need to be upload all the document then again online only you need to be confirmed then after that probably they will take a call of your proposal scrutinizing there is a committee in the ministry after the scrutinizing the proposal then they will uh, call for the interface meeting either through the online or maybe offline based on the interface meeting then they will awarding the thing so as soon as your project is approved then automatically they are releasing for the approval letter then as well as releasing for the 10% of the whatever the total project cost of the 13 and a half lakh so this is the some procedure over there that need to be uh, as far as an understanding then uh, moving to the as well as for the rpit courses
ಸರ್ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಹಾ ಸರ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಕೂಡ ಇದಾರೆ ಆದಷ್ಟು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಕೂಡ ಇದಾರೆ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕಣದಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಸರ್ ಸರ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಅದು ನನಗೆ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕಾರ ಬೈಲಿಂಗ್ ಅಲ್ಲ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ರೆ ನಮ್ ಮೋಡ ಅದ್ರಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅದು ಹೇಳಿ ಸಾಕು ತುಂಬಾ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಇರೋ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಗೇನ್ ನಾವು ಮೈ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ವಿಸಿಬಲ್ ಸರ್ ಆರ್ಪಿಟ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ okay 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 yes, okay oh, yes, so this is again uh, as well as for the annual repressor program in uh, teaching uh, this is the again uh, nitar is the national coordinator for the coordinating for the entire country for uh, as well as for the course is designed uh, only for the faculty member uh, they can join the courses instead of uh, going for the hrdc center for the learning the thing this was uh, in the first cycle almost 72 subject they released in the 2018 and 19 then after that uh, only very limited the teacher have cleared the as well as for the aptitude courses at that time probably the very important even if it's come in the newspaper newspaper of the in the national newspapers there so many teacher have not qualified for the aptitude course something like that because very important at that time almost 5000 odd teacher appeared for the aptitude examination only 2% of the teacher is cleared for the aptitude uh, uh, that for the certification so that is also one of the challenges then later they have not reached for the consolidated program probably subsequently under the nptel they will call it as a fdb program faculty development program they will release but in the consolidate uh, they have not reached for the uh, in the in the bigger scale of the whatever the arpit program probably can uh, any time you can visit for the nptel uh, website uh, under the nptel website you can see for the so many faculty development program under the faculty development program probably can uh, 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 teachers of uh, humanities or maybe teachers of basic science or maybe teachers of management or maybe technical teachers uh, teaching in the technical courses probably they can join the course this are all some of the arpit courses were there in the thing then uh, again uh, this is soil implement because already you are aware that is the link is given under the link uh, probably can uh, login then you create your user one uh, user id and uh, password then you can initiate for the further processing probably you can consent with your uh, consent uh, ಸ್ವಯಂ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾನಿಟರಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಎನಿ ಬಡಿ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಪರ್ವಿ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸೂರ್ ಎನಿ ಫ್ಯಾಕಲ್ಟಿ ಆರ್ ಇಂಟರೆಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಡೆವಲಪಿಂಗ್ ದ ಮೂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಎನಿ ಟೈಮ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಲ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಮ್ ಔಟ್ ಅವರ್ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಮಾನಿಟರಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಲ್ ಇಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇ ಎಮ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿ ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರಾಬಲಿ ವಿ ಲೆಲ್ಪ್ ಯು ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪೋಸಲ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಹೌ ಟು ಅಪ್ಲೋಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ರಪೋಸಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸೊ ಮೆನಿ ಅದರ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ದಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವೆಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮೂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅದರ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದೆನ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಎನ್ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಮ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಟಿ there are so many initiatives were there initiated by the government of india under the ministry of education so these are all the initiatives uh, is very important as a student point of view then also very important we need to aware of the teachers taking into concern for the how this initiative will be uh, more important for the teacher as well as for the student taking into consider under the nmict probably i think you are aware of any any teacher or any uh, in your uh, university or maybe in your uh, institutions in your colleges have you installed for the swayam prabha sir i am audible aware of it anybody is aware of for the swayam prabha dth channel yes ma'am okay so under the uh, initiative of national mission on education through uh, information communication technology this is one of the interesting uh, as well as for the swayam prabha that is for the 24 by 7 education channel were there in the thing under the uh, 24 by 7 education channel they are given for the as well as for the pre dts services for the doordarshan this is very important in our university almost 32 department we have the swayam prabha so each department uh, there is in each colleges probably we have some kind of uh, uh, seminar hall in the seminar hall probably can uh, install probably costing about 2000 uh, 2500 to 3000 for the uh, costing of your uh, that uh, whatever that details a uh, dish probably can ask for the local dish provider in the university or maybe in your uh, town probably they will give on supply for the swayam prabha uh, the tth uh, dish based on the thing probably that uh, seminar all can be used for the you can call it as a blended learning probably i think in the present uh, national education policy 2020 they will give on for the you should have a some kind of uh, blended uh, mode of education under the blended mode probably whenever the teacher are free whenever the student are free probably they can go to that uh, seminar hall they can view the 
whatever the in the swayam prabha there is so many educational content is there based on the thing here also given every day there will be new content of at least 4 hours which would be repeated 6 times in a day this is very important every day there is a 4 hours fresh content will be there this content is prepared by the expertise from the various universities uh, the learned professors were there in the entire country they prepared this content this is deliver the content this is made available probably i think you can uh, in your if you go back to your college or maybe you are there in the college or maybe in your department probably you can you can uh, insist your principals or maybe insist your concerned uh, uh, authorities probably you can have install for the swayam prabha in your college that is costing about within 5000 rupees the costing probably that can be make use for the student as well as for the teachers whenever they are free they can go and watch the that whatever the new content whatever the thing these are all the channel partner given for the iits nptel ugc whatever the nine national coordinator is there they are the uh, as a partner for the entire uh, uh, channel uh, taking into consider then again under this uh, thing they given for the various content probably i think uh, Uh, visible this is all given for the humanities uh, then a uh, language and literature sir yara kelta iri sir namge kannada to andre language regional language is also very important under the regional languages probably they can have the some kind of humanities so many languages probably somebody interested for the viewing the uh, as well as for the content prepared in the, in the language of hindi somebody is very much interested for the uh, viewing the content prepared in the sanskrit somebody is interested for the in the kannada language or something like that this are the some of the things were there whenever you free probably just you can uh, type it in the google swayam prabha uh, dth uh, swayam prabha 30 uh, 24 by 7 there we directly will take to the website of the swayam prabha based on the website they'll given for the all the uh, whatever the the schedule time so what are the schedule time which are all the schedule was uh, which subject they are made available so based on the thing even if you taking for the humanities then again history culture philosophy then also taking for the social sciences basic sciences then also management then also so many technical courses so many uh, the course content uh, that delivered under the swayam prabha this is very very important then also another interesting thing is one of the interesting uh, somebody having for the aspirant for as an applicant for joining appearing for the jwe or jwe main probably i think you are all aware of the thing this jwe main and advance that is only for the as an entrance exam conducting for the appearing for the joining for iits and other thing that's one of the courses is developed by the professor that is for the pal iit that is for the professor assisted learning that is the course the content developed by the under the release of the swayam prabha that is a, one of the most viewed course for the entire country as well as for the in the uh, pal uh, that is for the uh, that is professor assisted learning courses for the as well as for the under the swayam prabha probably uh, this is not only for the teacher as well as for the uh, in the uh, uh, as well as for the student then also in your home probably in your home probably some uh, in your sons or daughter there in the as well as for the as an aspirant probably there I mean for the they want to join for the iits and other thing probably they can have a some kind of uh, this dish can be installed probably there is so many coaching so many other component were there that is very important this is also one of the one among the uh, best initiative of the government of india as well as for the swayam prabha is concern then uh, then other uh, important uh, thing national digital library this is again equalities in e content because already were aware so many universities already there in the member of national digital library this national digital library iit karakpur is the national coordinator for entire country iit karakpur is a national coordinator for as well as for the national digital ndl national digital library under the national national digital library probably if you are a member of national digital library only thing is you need to be you should have a consent letter from the your university then again i think probably can approach your somebody is there in, the, in your library person probably chief librarian or who are all there in the in charge probably he will take a task forward probably taking for the registration as well as for the national digital library under the national digital library probably you can uh, more than 65 lakhs e content uh, that's for the uh, that digital repository made available then also taking various subject probably just you can whenever you free just you can google it in the national digital library probably you can see for the various thing then also you have e content then also some of the video content also made available 
this is uh, more useful not only for the student uh, perspective then also more useful for the teachers probably some of the subject probably uh, there is an already there is an uh, digital repository probably you can refer it in a without uh, visiting for the library without, without uh, searching anything probably you can sit in a home probably only thing is you need to be search based on the subject wise probably you can have access to download for the, all the content probably whenever you free read it so this are the some of the uh, very good initiative under the national uh, digital library then uh, further uh, discussion uh, taking for the another initiative called as epg partial i think uh, by and large you are all familiar with this epg partial this is again is also one among the initiative of the national mission on education through ict under the epg partial they will given for the various content probably very important i think uh, one of our faculty member is here probably taking for the architecture when you're taking for the architecture taking for the and the if we visiting for the epg partial under the architecture you can have the various content various content prepared by the different uh, uh, professor in the different uh, schools probably taking for the iit karakpur or maybe taking for the spa delhi or taking for the various other schools whatever the things based on the thing that e content is available that content can be downloaded probably you can read it or maybe you can circulate to the uh, student probably as a reading material or something like that so these are all the some of the thing epg partial probably you can have on the list of subject just you can visit the website where there is plenty of uh, digital repositories available under the as well as for the epg parcel in the subject wise based on the subject wise you can download the content then also some of the video content also there you can download you can visit whenever you free uh, they probably can uh, this all the information bring you to your uh, student notice we have the epg parcel we have nmict under the initiative we have national digital library this rather some of the thing probably student uh, can uh, download the content uh, probably based on the requirement this rather some of the thing then another uh, interesting thing they introduce for the spoken tutorial this is uh, not only for the student perspective not only for the as uh, a teachers perspective this is uh, uh, in general is a common in general then also common man also can uh, access for this spoken tutorial somebody want to do for the suppose if they any in the in the general public they wanted to make for the digital banking then again they want to know for the how to do the digital banking probably can type it in the digital banking they will give on the procedure what is the procedure need to be followed then uh, some of the teachers uh, probably there in the uh, basic sciences probably we need to be conduct so many uh, whatever the laboratory research based on the thing we need to be take some of the apps whatever the new applications new apps uh, related with a particular uh, uh, laboratory research and other kind of thing so based on the thing probably that all the things uh, made available in the things probably in the spoken tutorial just you can type it probably there is in the regional language there is another like six language is there based on the six language you will get the description you will get the procedure then also one of the interesting thing is uh, various softwares probably taking for somebody want to study for the open source software for the quantum gis or whatever the software just you can type it in the quantum gis then they will given for the which language you want to uh, uh, learn for the in the Uh, procedure and other thing probably you can go to that uh, whichever the language is made available based on the languages you can see the procedure then also given for the what has to be done this are all the one of the interesting one of the very unique uh, uh, program under the nmict taken into consider the spoken tutorial this is for the thing this is not only for the useful for the teachers as well as for the student then also useful for the general public taking into consider for the in the digital india initiative probably anybody want to taking for the, the digital transaction anybody want to do for any kind of uh, uh, whatever the in the upcoming uh, the digital uh, in the transaction or maybe digital in the framework probably this spoken tutorial is more useful probably there will get for the only thing you should have an and computer literate uh, in the general public probably they can access for the various procedure and other kind of thing then another interesting uh, as well as this is uh, more useful for as well as for the basic sciences this is we call it as in virtual labs this is again under the virtual labs they will given for the thing uh, probably i think if the separate time is there probably would have given for the linking for each virtual labs then given for the what is the procedure need to be followed suppose uh, some of the participants some of the teachers were there in the, in the basic science probably can uh, is very useful for the virtual labs they will given for the uh, as well as video demo of the each virtual labs whatever the either this is again initiative taken by the Uh, various uh, the hiits and uh, other uh, premier institutions based on the thing they created for the virtual lab 
taking into concern is if somebody want to do for the organic chemistry in the lab probably they will give on the what is the lab you want to do what is the lab task you need to be done then again they will give on for the some kind of procedure what is the procedure need to be followed then what is the output you need to be get so these are all the some of the thing already uh, video recorded then also already there in the e content so these are all the very useful uh, as well as for the uh, teacher point of view then probably you can same thing you can uh, you can show it in your uh, students in the probably this are all the virtual labs is there probably can make use of the virtual labs probably can, they can uh, do for some kind of innovation or they can create some kind of thing probably in the present context as well as for the nep 2020 they will given for the thing each courses uh, they will given for the uh, ample scope for that has to be incubation center probably can have a, even though even have the non technical courses you should have a create some kind of center for uh, taking for the the creativity what is the creativity then, then again you need to be demonstrate the each uh, student uh, skills as well as for the creativity and something like that probably the in that context probably this virtual lab is more useful probably can uh, inform to the student uh, fraternity uh, probably they can make use of this virtual lab these are all the some of the important links uh, probably i think any in the last i will share the ppt probably i think uh, through the hrdc uh, they, uh, probably this link uh, you can whenever you free probably click the link probably can uh, lot of information is available under the as well as for the NMICT is concerned. These are all the some of the things related with the national mission on education through as well as for the information and communication technology is concerned. Then uh, taking further one of the uh, thing because what we have done as far as for the university is concerned, what is the university's attempt as far as for the University of Mysore with respect to implementation of the SOIM courses uh, that is uh, for the additional thing for, uh, that will given for the at least you can have you can have some kind of Okay, so whatever attempt were made by the as well as for the University of Mysore is concerned. So, as far as University of Mysore uh, uh, is the one among the state university to offer MOOCs under the SOIM platform. Then also adapting for the SOIM courses, the University of Mysore, is, University of Mysore has become the first university in the Karnataka to offer HADAP massive open online courses. Then again, uh, as per the direction of the uh, University Grant Commission as well as for the MHRD, presently we call it as Minister of Education. The University of Mysore established for the full plate SOIM digital learning monitoring cell. So this is again, it was established in the year of 21st March 2018. So, so far we are there in the, we have participated for the ninth cycle. Probably I think in the previous uh, session, we started discussing uh, that uh, last ninth cycle that is closing by December. That is for the started from July, the closing by the December. Then probably up to 9th cycle we are there in the University of Mysore is there in the participate adapted for the SOIM courses as well as for thing probably given for the work this is the first university they adapted for the SOIM courses. Then uh, based on the SOIM courses because already we are aware uh, because entire SOIM courses using for the enriched that is for the information communication technology because using for the various animation, various multimedia content or whatever the thing. Then also another interesting thing is whichever the courses made available in the SOIM platform that is also some of the premier uh, universities uh, best teacher have developed the course probably taking for the Hall Institute of Medical Science that is also some of the courses probably Indian Institute of Science there some courses are made available probably uh, Jawaharlal Nehru University JNU they made some of the courses then again National Law School some of the top universities probably taking for the thing because we are all aware of it as far as uh, NAC accreditation then all the thing probably taking for the what is the NAC accreditation then based on the NAC accreditation then also given for the which is the top universities or whatever the thing probably in Indian context we are making for the as an accreditation. So based on the things some of the subject uh, made available for the, the developed by the premier uh, university professors then uh, even uh, there is an advantage for the student probably some of the student uh, they get the certification uh, clear the subject of the some of the subject developed by the Institute of medical science or maybe IAS or other thing that is the value addition so our student is more competent with the, uh, any other university or any other they can compete for the all over the India all over the world or something like that. So that is the context now they started for the national education policy based on the thing they give on the flexibility for the student probably they can choose some of the courses offered in the IIT Kharagpur, some of the courses offered in the JNU, some of the courses offered in the R Institute of Medical Science probably they can join the courses they can get the credit that credit can be incorporated in the ISRR market this is the some of the already in there in the pipeline under the NEP they need to be. Uh, blended learning that need to be there in the thing. So this is some of the thing uh, probably we creating for the competitiveness for the each student for can learn for uh, for the various aspects and other kind of these are the some of the attempt for that. 
then again we made the as a vision taking for the soyam digital learning monitoring cell is the adopt implement and facilitate the student for enrollment of ugc soyam courses in the university of mysore this is the uh, vision we made as well as for the uh, my university of mysore is concerned then again we have made so many objectives taking for the best teaching learning resources that is for the facilitate uh, uh, for the student then also very important some of the student probably they can able to uh, they will not able to uh, reach for the reaching for the iit or reaching for the jnu or something like that probably they can uh, in the joining the mooc courses joining the soyam course soyam platform probably they can learn they can get the certification then also did the digital debate student who have hitherto remained untouched by the digital revolution the probably that is also one of the thing probably now because of the uh, post pandemic uh, the post to each teacher should have should to involve for the online teaching then also each uh, student mandate to join for the online uh, learning process so these are the some of the thing mandate because of the in the covid now the probably same proce procedure and process may be continue probably already given in the earlier discussion because already iit is as well seven iit and as well as for the institute of science they made mandate for each, each teacher should have a one mooc courses need to be developed for in a year probably the same uh, rules can be bring it to the university level probably all 600 universities or whatever in the under the ugc or maybe act probably if you mandating probably compulsory we need to be developing for the mooc courses probably our uh, entire curriculum because already given 60% only for the in the uh, offline teaching that is for the classrooms uh, that 40% probably it is in the online so probably uh, whatever the, our workload probably some workload will be there in the for the teaching the rest of the workload may be given for the developing the mooc course probably in the upcoming year this will be there in the thing this is uh, again uh, there then again soyam digital learning monitoring cell is a working as a local chapter to the ugc then also given single point of contact so based on the thing uh, the soyam coordinator is uh, as a single point of contact for the bridging for the whatever the university as well as for the in the university grant commission is concerned based on the thing this was the some of the uh, attempt to permit then also we have the digital learning monitoring cell edited by the uh, that our honorable vice chancellor so many other members were there in the thing then also we have conducted for the series of uh, meetings uh, as well as for the create awareness of the soyam courses then also taking for the various uh, other uh, discussion then also we called for the exclusively for the only for the chairman's meeting and uh, for the understanding the mooc courses then also we have conducted for the various uh, orientation program for the teachers then also orientation program for the as well as for the student as well as for the enrollment of the mooc courses then again uh, these are the some of the activities uh, we have undertaken and of the soyam digital learning monitoring cell uh, as far as soyam uh, we have the separate uh, link under the link entire country that soyam coordinator need to be registered in the login then also given for the entire university we have made for the almost this is only applicable for the in our uh, uh, pg centers as well as for the thing 65 university soyam centers almost uh, 65 uh, 65 university soyam center we have appointed based on the thing each department this mentor will be facilitating for the student as well as for the as soon as his course release they will uh, uh, bring it to the notice of the student these are all the courses made available in the soyam platform then also they will help you for how to enroll uh, or maybe take into consider for the how to proceed with the further learning under the soyam platform this is uh, there in the thing then again in the 2018 itself uh, we made for the credit transfer mandate under the approved by the academic council the initially we given for the four credit taking into consider we are not uh, touched for the hard core as well as for the soft core we are given option for the open elective so minimum four credits to the open elective then maximum they can go for the up to 12 credit because as per the uh, present uh, cbcs uh, regulation and guidelines they are given for the in the open elective minimum four maximum 12 credit if the uh, 12 credit probably they can earn for the soyam the minimum four credit need to be earned for the soyam this is again we made it in the 2018 itself then also linking of all ugc moocs epg portal soyam soyam proper probably if you are visiting our university of uh, mysore website in the earlier that all in the main link we have given all the digital initiative in the main link any student if you log into our university of mysore just you can click that link probably you can see the ugc moocs link is there probably the directly taking to the ugc moocs then epg portal is there that will directly taking to the upg portal then also taking for the there is a soyam uh, website is link they are directly taking then soyam probably this is all the some of the link it is available it is made available in our uh, website now that all the thing now we link given for the hyperlink to our online education probably i think you are all aware of the thing now full fledged they are award, awarding the degree through the online 
Probably I think you are all aware of the thing. Probably in our university also we are offering for the so many undergraduate, so many postgraduate courses through online. So entire courses is online only. You have the separate uh, cell for the offering for the online courses. Based on the thing that all the link now you are given for hyperlink to the this online courses. Probably you can uh, uh, look into that details probably whenever you free. Then again we made for the linking of soya video. So this is very important. Uh, we have created for the thing. Then also we created for the local radio jingle for the at the time in the in the radio station then we prepared the low, regional language based on the thing creating awareness of the soyam for this is for the then is for the, the earlier uh, attempt for the creating awareness then also uh, government of india under the uh, ministry of education they printed uh, as well as for the uh, that for the age euro size uh, that for the poster that circulated for the entire uh, country for the, all the universities need to be given for the, the hard copy that need to be displayed in the various department concerned probably in the various where the uh, mass gathering of the student may there may be canteen or maybe library or whatever the thing this is for the creating the awareness then also another interesting in our university probably anybody entering for our university campus in the all the three gates probably you can see the thing there is in this uh, there is a view of the earlier view of the uh, board in the board we given for the UGC MOOCs and other thing now you have the digital uh, display based on the digital display as soon as subject is released, we are made available for the digital display. Then again, uh, we have Swayam Prabha. This is again 24 by 7 DTS channel, almost 30 postgraduate department with classroom. Probably in our school also there, probably various other department also there in the Swayam Prabha that is for the flipped classroom. Then again, uh, given for the created the social media, they are taking for the Facebook, Twitter and all the things. Here we are updating for the whatever the courses is released and other kind of thing. Then again, we are taking for the uh, uh, we have recently as well as from the RUSA funded we have the career hub under the career hub we have the used database of the student so the entire university that the email of the student is made available as soon as subject is released the so same subject will be sent to the email probably each student can aware of the thing which are the subject made available under the SOYAM or something these are the some of the uh, component were there in the thing then again uh, as per the SOYAM enter these are the some of the LED display we are displaying for the various uh, courses or other thing then also we have conducted for the series of workshop, brainstorming workshop uh, for adoption of the UGC Swayam courses. Swayam courses for the exclusively for the student, overall they are in the third semester at the time, only third semester there is an open elective. So they are given for the third semester students. Then also UGC uh, MOOCs uh, courses for the one day workshop for the teachers. Then also we have conducted for so many other uh, uh, courses. Then also given for the enrollment examination details, I will not go detail. Then again in 2019, University of Mysore has conducted for the SOYAM examination. Then also we got for the excellent uh, center certification. This is also uh, very interesting. We also we got the same thing we linked with our uh, NAC accreditation. Based on the thing, uh, as well as for the thing, after 2019, the entire country they created for the National Testing Agency. National Testing Agency will look into it for the entire uh, SOYAM examination. Before 2019, that uh, uh, the, you know each university they have conducted. At the time, Mysore University also one among the center identified for the conducting the exam. Then also we have conducted the exam. Then also they sent some observer from the UGC. These are all the some of the attempt were there. Then again, uh, each e cycle they given for the how many student uh, getting the certificate. Probably in the first cycle, almost 163 student were the, there in the examination. Out of which almost 113, that's for 69 percent of student have passed. This is again we need to be create, creating our uh, benchmark because already given. In the ARPIT courses in the 2019, almost 500 teachers were appeared, only 2% of the teacher is cleared for the, not in the knowledge level, but only thing is they don't have a time to view the video, they don't have a time to submit the whatever the deadline assignment and other kind of, because they engage with the various other work and other things. The teacher is very difficult to find the time for viewing the video, then again online submission of the assignment or maybe online submit, appearing for the quizzes and other kind of thing. That is a various uh, thing, probably the almost uh, only 2 percent of the teacher has cleared for the, as well as for the an annual repressive program in the teaching. Then also very important, uh, as well as for the MOOC courses also in the entire country, because already we are aware, out of uh, 22 lakh student uh, uh, taking for the APR exam, only 11 lakh student have uh, created the certification. Probably only 50 percent of the student is cleared for the examination so far. Even this was started in 2017-18. Till now, taking into consider very only 50 percent of the student they can able to clear the SOYAM examination. Then again, we are taking for the performance of the universities in above the national average because we got almost uh, they are taking into account the highest thing. These are all the some of the the gist of enrollment examination of the various cycles. I will not go for the detailing. Then again, uh, 
taking for this role some of the credit trans so far credit transfer in the last uh, i think uh, in the last month probably i think we were all aware of the thing new chairman has appointed for the university grant commission so under the uh, chairmanship of the university grant commission they given for the release the uh, what is the total credit transferred by the entire country is taking for the entire university probably in our university as well as for in the southern state in our university is the highest credit transfer through the swayam course so this is uh, some of the thing probably already is there in the in the ugc website uh, there is a link then apart from that as well as for the our university of mysore as well as for the swayam digital learning monitoring cell you have signed the mou between university of mysore as well as for the administrator training institute probably you are all aware of the thing administrator training institute the training for the all the officers uh, over there in the different cadres in the government of karnataka as well as for the, even though they are given for the training for the highest professionals under the administrator training institute so based on the thing uh, we have signed the mou with the administrator training institute we are developing for the mooc courses uh, the joint preparation uh, as well as for the delivery option based on the thing this project almost uh, taking for the almost uh, 1 crore 29 lakh in the total uh, uh, project cost taking into consider for the, there is a so many series of courses probably taking for the one is professional diploma courses in public administration this is for the 24 credit uh, courses each semester there given the 12 credits in the 6 month 12 months courses again it uh, comprising almost 240 hours on the different model this is exclusively for uh, joining uh, civil that for the highest civil servants as in uh, professional period they will be there in the two years as a professional period probably two months will be there in uh, atmi so probably six months will be there in the masuri or something like that based on the thing as soon as if uh, this course is uh, made available in the platform then automatically these highest professional they can join the course uh, that is for the now they reduce for the earlier is the 12 month now reduce for the 10 months course they can join the course they can learn anywhere they can appear for the exam they get the certification this is the, this is the this is the first kind of in india as well as for the administrative training institute that tried for developing the mooc courses uh, tried up with the university of mysore under the digital learning monitoring cell then another uh, interesting there is a so many certification courses uh, available disaster management because there is an exclusive uh, different uh, uh, centers uh, there in the as well as for the administrative training institute that is for the disaster management cell is there they are also we are developing for the four credit courses that 40 hours model then again social justice and uh, equality there is a separate center they are also we are developing the courses then also upcoming because you are all aware of the thing stg 2030 that is for the sustainable development goals they have created for the separate uh, center for the sustainable development goals under this we are also preparing for the four credit courses then again uh, there is a course called data analytics and ego this is very very important taking it how to manage the database then again taking into various e-governance, then again ICT tools, various context. Suppose any uh, participant or maybe any officers is joined for the various in organization, then how to manage the database, how to manage the then e-governance initiative. So many other components were integrated in the in the module of data analytics and e-governance. Then uh, in addition, we are developing other center that public-private partnership, which is related with exclusively for the infrastructure development, then taking into consider how the modality of the public-private uh, partnership, then also various other content were discussed these are all the some of the things these are all the some of the attempt were there these are all the project is in the pipeline still you are not uh, uh, this is not available in the in the present still there uh, in the process of the developing the courses probably another uh, six months or probably another one year these courses available in the our individual university of mysore uh, learning lms uh, indi independent uh, lms uh, thing this is only for the restricted only for the the uh, aspect that for the uh, that for the learners from the administrative training institute for the government of karnataka overall officers uh, joined in the government of karnataka as an cadre different cadre they can join the courses they can get the certification this is the thing uh, we have uh, signed mou with administrative training institute other thing then also we have so many uh, managing council so many uh, bodies were there then also we have special board of studies exclusively for approving for the swayam courses taking for the various content reviewing the content the, then also developing the, the syllabus of the swayam these are all the some of the separate uh, board of studies were there some of the professor we food from the uh, various uh, premier uh, universities uh, for the uh, reviewing the content reviewing the various then also we have the expert committee these are all the some of the things were there uh, then uh, further taking various other component uh, so we also made some kind of next uh, five years what is the next five years what you are going to do because online education transformation through swayam courses because already our university is there in the thing because we got uh, as well as for the given uh, university grant commission for the full uh, full plate learning for the online courses probably we are running almost uh, 
10 PG courses, 7 UG courses through the online uh, mode because there is a separate uh, uh, that uh, online education center is there, they are learning for the thing. Then again, we need to be Soyan Facility Center for the student grievance and redress. This is uh, one of the thing. Then also, uh, we also uh, received a letter from the ministry as well as for the national testing agency. We want to make for the test uh, practice center. At the time, we were literally busy with the NAC. We didn't get that uh, submitted the proposal probably in the, for, in the upcoming probably we can have a national testing agency center within, within our university. Then these are all the some of the things were there. Uh, encourage the faculty members to develop the SOIM courses. Then you are also continuously you are making for the various attempt. Then also recently, uh, probably I think in the last uh, three four months back, we also tying with Karnataka Police Academy uh, as well as for the uh, developing the MOOC courses. This is again we have signed a MOU with Karnataka Police Academy, develop University of Mysore for the developing the MOOC courses through the uh, that PME we got. These are all the some of the things were there. These are all the some of the uh, display board probably can entering in our campus you can see the display board then also we have made for the brochures that will be circulated for the all the university uh, colleges then also we have the display boards uh, then also we have dts that is for the thing we have 30 department we have the full fledged people classroom taking for the soyam prabha then uh, so many other kind of these are the some of the workshops we have organized continuously probably further if there any uh, workshop or maybe is there any kind of orientation program probably will uh, uh, you can uh, participate as a taken into consider for this a participant for the in the developing the MOOC courses then also be given for the live demo probably we can uh, take the uh, in the half of the day we will have only for the in the theoretical, theoretical component in the uh, rest of the hours probably can directly go to the studio then probably can uh, you can record it then probably there itself you can view the you are recorded whatever the component you are recorded this is all the some of the things were there probably we need to conduct then also recently also we conducted one uh, uh, online training program for the all the uh, faculty, all the officers were there in the administrative training mission that is to be conducted for the orientation program. These are all the some of the things for there. These are all the some of the attempt uh, made as well as for the University of Mysore for implementation as well as for the adoption of the as well as for the MOOC courses is concerned. Uh, probably uh, as a teacher, uh, because it's very important in the upcoming year, probably we need to be engaged for developing the MOOC courses. Probably uh, we don't know because already in the guidelines is given almost 40 percent of the credit can be earned to the soyam then also uh, our state is the first state for implementing for the nep 2020 based on the thing already given uh, given already given 13 universities they are given for the four crore rupees each university is need to be established full fledged soyam that is for the mooc lab then as well as for the community radio station this is the mandate for 13 universities uh, probably in our university already we have community radio station uh, that's why uh, they are given for the two and a half, uh, two and a half crore for the uh, establishing for the MOOC lab. The same kind of thing was there for the already various other university. Already they started for the uh, taking for the so many uh, universities already they uh, cleared for the technical uh, clearance. Even uh, I think Ampe University is the first university probably the, now they are having for the full plate under the initiative of the NEP. The full plate they are developing for the MOOC lab as well as for the, uh, that is for the community registration probably another probably December, end of December they will going to be made available for the teachers as well as for the students. This is one of the interesting thing because I am there as a technical committee member of that uh, whatever the thing. So these are all the some of the update. Probably I think uh, now uh, we have so many content were there, so many component is there. I don't know what is your, uh, uh, because very important in the online uh, mode probably you are all uh, uh, very important uh, we need to understand for the uh, what is the understanding level then also what is the remembering for the whatever the content we had delivered in the, in the online mode. Probably I will stop it here for the presentation. Probably you can have a 15 minutes of a discussion. Probably you can have any clarification, any doubt. Probably, probably you can have a discussion. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Namaskara, sir. Swayam Prabha, even though some stay in there. No, sir. Now, you know, you can't go to the second one. Sir, one day, as a teacher, one day, Nimge, you know, Namiliga, Swayam Manta, one day, Swayam Prabhanta, one day, but the various other initiatives, Government of India, the Tumba initiatives, there. Even on you and the under the digital initiatives, even student get government turbo. So I am proper not in Nimu College, so I am provincial Madi. 
ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಅವರು ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಅದನ್ನು ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬೋದು ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗಳಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ಗೆ ಎನ್ರೋಲ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ದು ಏನಾದ್ರು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಆ ಥರ ಇದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ಗೆ ವರ್ಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಪ್ಸ್ಗಳು ಇದೆ ಈವನ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ಗೆ ನೀವು ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಟೂಟೋರಿಯಲ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಎನ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಇನಿಷಿಯೇಟಿವ್ ದೇರ್ ಜನರಲ್ ಪಬ್ಲಿಕ್ ದಿ ಕೆನ್ ಗೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹಾಂ ಸರ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಂಟ್ಯಾಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಾನು ಹೇಳಿದ್ನಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಅರ್ಲಿಯರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸೈಕ್ಲಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಈಚ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಗೆ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ರು ಈಗ ಏನು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆನ್ಸಿ ಅಂತ ಇದೆ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಏನಂದರೆ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಎ ಟೀಚರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಏನಂದರೆ ನಾವು ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟೀಸ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ನೋಡ್ರಪ್ಪ ಈ ಈ ಸೈಕಲಲ್ಲಿ ಈ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗಳು ಬಿಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಯಾವ್ದಾರು ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸ್ವಯಂಲ್ಲಿ ತೊಗೋಬೋದಂತ ಅವರು ಆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಗೆ ಲಿಂಕಲ್ಲಿ ಅವ್ರು ಹೋಗಿ ಲಾಗಿನ್ ಆಗಿ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅಡ್ಮಿಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಎನ್ರೋಲ್ ಆದ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಎವ್ರಿ ಡೇ ದೇ ಲಾಗಿನ್ ಆದಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ್ಯಾವ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ಅದು ವೀಡಿಯೋ ಕಂಟೆಂಟು ಮತ್ತು ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಸಬ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಂದಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರು ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಜರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋತಾರೆ ಫೋರ್ ಮಂತ್ಸು ಆಮೇಲೆ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನು ದೇ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಅನೌನ್ಸ್ ದ ಡೇಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಡೇಟು ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿಗೆ ಒಂದೇ ಡೇಟ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಆ ಡೇಟಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಮೈಸೂರು ಸೆಂಟ್ರ್ ಇದೆ ಸಿವನ್ ಶಿವಮೊಗ್ಗ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಐದರಿಂದ ಆರು ಸೆಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕದಲ್ಲಿ long would be the duration of another uh, session or another course that i could take ideally eshtu dina konsala athwa eshtu yearly or uh, six months once so, two things like one is uh, as per the guidelines if you want to go for the as a career advancement cs the thing under the uc guideline they give on the mandate mandate means suppose you are taking for the assistant for level 1 to level some various criteria there they'll given for the some kind of thing probably if you only for the learning purpose you only for the certification you can uh, join any courses in the any interval okay. not required for the mandate okay only for the mandate for as per the regulation in the ugc regulation probably you can check it in the level 1 to level 2 what is the criteria in that criteria probably within the stipulated period probably you need to be completed the fdp courses or maybe induction program or maybe orientation program okay so uh so which one would be ideal sir whether the induction program or orientation program or the learning uh, otherly very uh, very categories is it how do we choose yeah, now or... you, yeah, suppose already now you are joined for the mem you are joined for the induction program hmm. probably you can go for the next you can go for the fdp program probably fdp program 15 days or maybe taking for the 18 days program hmm. that is more uh, appropriate okay yes. thank you sir okay yes any other sir makkale exam contact maartare maadi admele pass aagtare next adu avarge future enu sadrinda sir iga avarge ondu andre nimge avardu exam attend aadta kana avarge mark sheet avargire certificate anta avargi email ge baruthe namge ella baralla adu yaro avaru user id login enroll agirutha alge baruthe certificate aa certificate na avaru concerned university ge kodbeku consolidate maadi iga nimma nivu college agirudre nimma college principal inda ella consolidate maadi adanna ondu college inda certify maadi these are all the student clear for the swayam courses so idana ni credit transfer maadi anta nivu concerned university ge kodbodu illa nive enaru autonomous college athra avare print hakotare mark sheets ella so avare nive maadkobodu but enappa andre nimmele document irbeku whenever you going for the accreditation iga nac de ella hodaga nimge keltare nimma college alli ಎಷ್ಟು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟು ಸ್ವಯಂಯಿಂದ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮತ್ತು ಎಷ್ಟು ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ಸು ನಿಮ್ಮಿಂದ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈ ಥರದ್ದೆಲ್ಲ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇದೆ ಹಾಂ 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 ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನೀವು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಎನ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೂ ಬೇರೆ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಪ್ರಿಂಟ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರು ನೀವು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಗೆ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೋಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಯು 
ಆ್ಯನ್ ಅ ರಿಪ್ರೆಸರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಸಬ್ಸಿಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಏನೋ ಸಮ್ ಇಶ್ಯೂಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅವೈಲಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಎಲ್ ಎನ್ ಪಿ ಟಿ ಎಲ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಳಿಸ್ತಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಅಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗ್ಬೋದು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಎಲಿಜಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ಪರ್ಮನೆಂಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ರೈಟೀರಿಯಾ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸರಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಗೆ ಇದು ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಒಂದು ನಿಮಗೆ ವರ್ಷದಲ್ಲಿ ಎರಡು ಸಲ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಯೂಸಲಿ ಸೈಕಲ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಅಂದರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಜೂನ್ ಮತ್ತು ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈಗ ಡಿಸೆಂಬರ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಒಂದು ಟೂ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಅವ್ರ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಮಾಡಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಯೂಸಲಿ ಈಗ ಆಗಿರಬೇಕು ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ಲಿ ನವೆಂಬರ್ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಒಳಗೆ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ತಂದು ಜನವರಿ ಜನವರಿ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಜನವರಿ ಎಂಡಿಂಗ್ವರೆಗೂ ಎನ್ರೋಲ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಗೆ ಡೇಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ದೇನ್ ಅವ್ರು ಎನ್ರೋಲ್ ಆಗಿ ಜೂನಲ್ಲಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಥರ ಸೊ ಏನೇ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ಎ ಅವ್ರು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ಯಾಂಡಮಿಕ್ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಅದು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಆಯಿತು ಸಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಅವರು ಎರಡು ಸಲ ಎರಡು ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ಸ್ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೆ ಈ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವರು ಆ ಥರ ರೀಸೆಂಟಾಗಿ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾರ್ಚಲ್ಲೂ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆ ಥರ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಆಫ್ಲೈನ್ ಸರ್ ಅದು ಈಗ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಮೋಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಹೇಳಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಆರ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಟೋಡ್ ಅಂತ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಅಲಾಟ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗ್ತೀರ ನೀವು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕಂಪ್ಯೂಟರ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ನೀವು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲ ಏನಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನೋಡ್ಬಿಟ್ಟು ನೀವು ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಪ್ರೊಕ್ಟೋಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಅದೇ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮಗೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಕೊಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಬಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಇವಾಗ ಡಿಗ್ರಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರುವಾಗ ಒಂದು ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ಅದನ್ನ ಒಂದು ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸರ್ ಏನಾದ್ರೂ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಇದು ಫರ್ದರ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ಅಂತಲ್ಲ ಇದು ಏನಂದ್ರೆ ಇದು ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಅಂತ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಈಗ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಏನಪ್ಪಾ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯುಡೇಷನ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ಇದು ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯುಡೇಷನ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವನಿಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡೇಟಿವ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮಿನಿಮಮ್ ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಡೇಟ್ ಇನ್ ಅವರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ಅವನು ಫೋರ್ ಕ್ರೆಡಿಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ಬಟ್ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಈಗ ಯಾರು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈಗ ಯಾರು ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನಲ್ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಈಗ ಈಗ ಒಂದು ನಿಮಗೆ ತುಂಬಾ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಳು ಬರ್ತೀವಿ ಡಿಜಿಟಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಂತ ಕ್ಲಿಕ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ನಿಮಗೆ ಇದ್ರದ ನಮ್ದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಇಂಟೆಲೆಕ್ಚುಯಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ಟಿ ರೈಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ತರ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಗಳೆಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮ ಕರಿಕ್ಯುಲಮ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅದನ್ನ ಬೇಕಾದ್ರೆ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ ತಗೊಂಡು ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಷನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದನ್ನ ಸರ್ಟಿಫಿಕೇಟ್ ತಗೋಬಹುದು ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜ್ ಅಡಿಷನಲ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಗೇನಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಈಗ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಈ ತರ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇದೆ ಅಪ್ಪ ಈ ತರ ನೀವು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ನೀವು ಎನ್ಕರೇಜ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೊಂದು ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಕು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಗಳು ನಾನು ಈಗ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ಸುಮಾರು ಹೇಳಿದ್ವಿ ಸರ್ ನಾವು ಕೂಡ ಕೆಲವು ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನು ಟೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ವಿ ಆದ್ರೂ ಅವರು ಮುಂದೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಸರ್ ಈಗ ನ
sir myself dr ashwini yes sir yes madam uh, while being the coordinator while promoting the students while encouraging the students to uh, take up the swayam courses i faced uh, two issues sir yes, one is regarding the fee because they are all the rural students okay, and the second one is regarding the delay of the examination so ah. should these things should be brought to the notice of nta or there are some other things that can be solved in this uh, no, no, no. earlier uh, there was a see the thing is uh, each student need to be pay for 1000 rupees for one courses that is the use probably in the university level okay sir even each semester they will not pay a 1000 rupees for an examination fee but here in the swayam they introduce for 1000 rupees they need to pay the examination fee then we also wrote so many letters to the university then also so many discussion finally what they have come with some modality student uh, probably they given for the 50% uh, reduction for the obc women and ssc students who are enrolling for the examination 500 rupees they need to be pay okay. if they securing for the 40% of the marks then automatically whichever the account they paid through the online same account will be reverted that will be there fine, fine. i think part 3 cycle they are making the thing second okay. thing is uh, that is a student grievance and letter so that is very difficult task madam you also facing for the uh, day by day we are writing uh, mail to the nta writing mail to the ugc so many other thing yes but uh, i don't know the public grievance that should be there for the centralized public grievance probably somebody has to look into it because we wrote so many time uh, yeah. the paste case wise case they are getting the thing probably every day we are getting a lot of mail from the student yes sir we are facing the same issue sir no, and problem, the mail not only for the course coordinator student side also problem. probably yeah. they will not upload it to the yeah, uh, assignment and other thing in that uh, uh, the, whatever the due date probably that yeah. is lost. then they will ask you sir uh, yes. extension of the date yes yeah, sir yes sir you are from which university madam sir mysore university itself sir oh, you are the course coordinator for international business okay okay madam yes